Dolphins are friendly pals of the sea. It's easy to imagine being buds, swapping dating stories over a nice fish dinner. It's not as impossible as you might think. Those weird clicks and whistles and squawks dolphins make are in fact a highly advanced communication technique. So let's dive in and see what these soggy mammals have to say. Echolocation, also known as biosonar, is sort of like the dolphin version of a smartphone. They use it to navigate, protect themselves, hunt, and locate prey. Just like how I use my phone to hunt and locate my prey. Breakfast burritos. Even when dolphins can't see at all in the deep parts of the ocean, echolocation lets them find even the fastest fish. It's like the world's deadliest game of Marco Polo. But dolphins don't have vocal cords. How are they so chatty? Dolphins produce sounds from a few key areas their nasal air sacs, the blowhole, and the melon. The first step is to generate sounds, which they do by pushing air between the lips of their nasal passages. That's right, dolphins talk through their nose, and their noses have lips. What a world! The second step is to amplify those sounds, called clicks, which they do with their melon, sending the clicks as a concentrated beam. <laughs> Lastly, the sound waves bounce back as an echo, and based on its intensity and pitch, a dolphin is able to form a mental image of the environment. And fun fact, the echo is received in a region of their lower jaw bones which pass the sound on to the ear. Mm. And in case you think echolocation and eyesight aren't enough, scientists recently discovered some dolphins have the ability to detect fish by sensing the specific electrical impulses given off by their muscle movement. And now dolphins join the humble platypus and the spiny anteater as one of only three mammals who are members of the electroreception club. Dolphins will also use their noise-making ability for purely social reasons, with different whistle tones and different clicks indicating different things. It's theorized they even have individual names for each other, just like we do. And each dolphin has a signature whistle that's unique to them. So when they hear other dolphins make that specific whistle, they'll respond back with the same whistle, as if to say, Hey, did somebody call me? While dolphin echolocation was a theory for years, it wasn't until 1960 when Kenneth Norris and colleagues proved its existence by temporarily blindfolding a dolphin with rubber suction cups. This dolphin went on to successfully navigate a maze by emitting ultrasonic sounds. And it didn't take long before we made it weird. In fact, and this is true, during the Cold War, dolphins were trained by both sides. I'm still not making this up. The Soviet Union, not wanting to fall behind in the critical field of U.S. aquatic mammal-based naval supremacy, started their own covert program. And for years, the world's two superpowers had rival top-secret squads of military-trained dolphins, and yet no one will read my screenplay. What is that about? They were trained to use their biosonar to detect enemy vessels, deliver equipment, detect underwater mines, and patrol for enemy swimmers seeking to plant explosives on Navy vessels. And here's the takeaway. Even in the decades since, researchers have only begun to scratch the surface of this complex communication system. That big scientific breakthrough is still waiting to happen. So to any future or current marine biologists watching this, we're looking forward to your discoveries. Get on it already. Want to see more cute animals use rat tech? Click here. <laughs>